Welcome back everybody. I'm the Holy Gamer. Welcome to episode 6 I believe of our Stranded Deep stream style let's play. We survived. We got our pippy in the ground. And it is time to nurse ourselves back to health. Question is, while we're doing that, do we venture out to other islands? Exactly how adventurous do we need to get here? Our food is suffering something fierce. One thing that I did want to try out though, we made bobbers. It's funny because there's two bobbers that are like settled into each other right there. But we can make the fishing rod. So let's go ahead and why is my knife on the ground over here? Uh, put that back in there. While we're in here, let's go ahead and trade out our fishing spear for our jar of water. Our stills are in sad shape. Let's go ahead and fill those guys up real quick. They're full right now. We're doing all right on that. Basically, I want to try out some fishing. Uh, see if we can't catch something. I was sitting here looking, scheming, and the water flows right to us here. So if we lose our bobber or something, it'll come to us. <laughs> I did check out the fishing a little bit as to how it works. Basically, when the bobber goes down, you right trigger a bit here until when you know you watch your watch your rod flex. Oh, 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 let off the trigger and then start grabbing the trigger. Whenever it's holding good, you can just give that thing all the trigger. Looks like we got a pretty decent fish on from how bad it's fighting. Although if you look at it, no, we got a medium fish on there. Looks like one of those uh, one guys, one little dudes. Yeah, medium fish. You can kind of see the fish underneath the bobber whenever you're reeling them in. Ooh, hello. Every once in a while they'll take off with them and no matter whether you don't do any reeling in or not, that's definitely a small fish. We're just reeling that guy right in. Feather it in there a little bit. Ooh, 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 come on, come on. Alright, small fish. Let's go ahead and get a couple of these guys cooking. I don't want to wait too long and end up starving to death while we go fishing. Uh, medium guy and a little guy. Chop those dudes up. Ugh. Ugh, gross. Listen to our guy complain because chopping up meat is never the funnest of things to do. Get a little kindling started there. Come on, get the rhythm, dude. Noise. Now, we can just go ahead and let that do its thing. We'll go out here and do some more fishing. We kind of need to get our food stores up. Uh, we won't start regaining health until everything is on the up and up until uh, everything's within I think a, a single bar of full but we need to get our health up uh, I've been playing on another save between between videos well, I have the kids on the weekends and that kind of stuff so I happen to have survived a couple poisonings I just wanted to see if I would survive them and as long as you're full health and you keep your stats up to where you're regenerating health, you don't get it, poisoning's not that bad. What really, uh, really did me in that first time is I decided since I was poisoned, I would go ahead and fight that snake hand to hand, and that was just really stupid because that caused me a lot of a lot of HPs. 
which made it to where there's no way I was going to be able to sustain without having to take the antidote. And then I don't think I was full health whenever I got struck the second time. I don't think I had managed to regain my health is why I really needed to find the second one. But that's something I can put into my thought process should I get poisoned here in the future. As long as I stay top up, topped up on my health and make sure all my stats are good, I should be safe until that other pippy goes. Uh, you know, I've got to be more cautious once uh, once the poison gets off to make sure we get our health back up. But, you know, it is what it is. This looks like another medium fish here. Yeah, you can see them flashing around down there. It's one of those archer fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't watching my... I was watching the fish, not my rod. almost broke that thing. I haven't broken a fishing rod yet, but I have broken the line a couple times and lost the bobber. I was fishing out that way one time and I had to wait till the bobber like came in. I do do a little cheaty testing on the world every once in a while while I'm in here after I'm done with the video. Kind of see what direction I want to go with things. Uh, I probably ought to go and check and be sure. Check on our meat here in a minute. Let's go ahead and reel this guy in. He's pretty small. We'll go check on that real quick. Come on, pull that in here. Go check on our food. Get a little bit of food in us. I mean, we could we could whack one of the rations we got in the rubber dinghy, but I don't think we need to go that route. Um, I really didn't need to smoke all that. Because, uh, what the heck? I don't know why I brought the fishing pole back up. Alright, how are we looking now? Okay, we're, we're looking kind of in the middle of things. Take one more slurp off of there. Let's go ahead and get some more of this fish on. And then I think we're gonna just spend a little, take a little bit of time here. Go check on our crops. I did realize that I didn't need to put my crops in a deal, or you know, use that that kind of trashy crop setup that I had there because we got tons and tons of corrugated scrap uh, from other playthroughs. I've kind of realized that I'm not really big on the corrugated decking for like the boats and stuff, but the corrugated scrap uh, farm plots are pretty nice. So possibly we go over there and make a let me think, how do we got here? One, two, three, four, of those. Uh, we do need to get our get our taters in the works because I think we got some more scrap in here somewhere. Did I miss a box? There it is. We need to get some potatoes in the works because here eventually we're gonna need gonna need some fuel and it'd be nice to have those up and running already. Uh, since we have all this ready to rock and roll, let's go ahead plunk a few of these guys down. Um, and of course, I do want to move the pippies into better crop deals. I have found from farming in my other world that I've had to use whenever I'd go to other islands I'd be out for a couple days and I would have to use upwards of five to six uh, water refills in order to fill them back up after a couple days which means this little crop plot with only four 
four water fillings, <laughs> I guess four servings of water in it, isn't going to maintain a two or three day hiatus of us being gone. Let's go ahead and might as well chop up a couple of these guys. Get us a little something something. Uh, I have potatoes along this wall here somewhere. You will find them as we gather there they are. I'm gonna go ahead and get some lashings. Lashings. I'm gonna get these potatoes in the ground. Get those cultivating because whenever it's time it'd be nice to have a few potatoes chilling. But this means we're gonna need to run back to our other property or <laughs> our starter island. Uh, is there anything in what am I doing here? How do I how do I check it? Zero servings. So let's go ahead and four five of them. See this one, two, three, four, five. Take the other three out. Six, seven. So this one has three three bits of water more than that one does. To, to get it, actually it's four bits more because this one already had one in it so that's eight total and this one took only three just heard the buzz why did my phone, oh my my SPS, SPF is way down which is not good but we need that food pretty bad so let's go, let's go grab our food the medium meat cook? Yeah, I did. I go ahead and snuff that and grab it all because eat that medium meat. It's just cooked and save some of the smoked meat if we can. Let's go hang out in the shade while we decide which way we're going to go with this. Uh, cooked meat. We got four bars we need. Cooked medium meat. That brought us up to the point where we're now, I believe, going to be, okay, we get healthy. So we are now regenerating HPs, but we can eat a small meat and have a slurp on our water. Slurp that guy. Grab us a, come on, quit doing that. Grab us a small meat, munch that. And now we are looking for really good, really good. One more slurp. Uh, how's our SPF looking? Wrong button. SPF is coming up. Probably do a little bit more fishing. To get that back up, do some harvesting around the island. Wonder how fishing in the dark is. That sounds like a like a country song. Something about you and me going fishing in the dark. I think that's a thing. Thinking maybe we'll go back to our starter island. Let's go ahead and empty these guys out. Wrong box. I thought I thought that was the box we were on. Do something with old Wally there. Uh, we need to check our check our tool. 18% durability. That's not good. Uh, a few of those. Should probably, you know, what? I'm gonna do that. I'm going to take a tarp and one of those coconut flasks back to the other island with us. We'll put, we'll set up that water still that we got rid of whenever we were over there because we brought it with us so we can make all our stuff. 
so we'll go ahead and do that. Just, uh, just pretty much just got to get everything set up and ready to rock and roll around here. Let's store these in our little food stores. Although keeping them on us right now probably won't be too bad. Let's do something with Wally. So we just stick him over here by the by the shed. How do you Spin that guy around. Uh, if we grab him in this fashion, stick him over here like so. Boink. And that thing just don't want to do any good. I don't know why I even, why I even bother to carry this thing around. Oh, hello. Oh, well, whatever. That's a perfect spot for him. You can just hang out there. Alright, it's starting to get dark. Uh, crops aren't a big deal right now. SPF is still good to go. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Oh, SPF is topped out. Perfect. We're almost full health again. So I'm thinking we'll catch a few more fish. Just to kind of have some around. And maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll make our way back to the old starter island there to gather up the potatoes that are over there. Maybe chop down everything and bring back all the palm all the palm bunches. Yeah, because that'll save us on the lashings. Uh, one of the things we need to start making too are. Uh, spear bolts, uh, spear gun bolts for whenever it's boss fight time if we just kinda make a few of those at a time whenever we're going along come on reel it in it's right, you're right there but some spear gun bolts would be really handy I think they stack in 24's but they require a lashing and a stick apiece so that's a lot of lashings. So I mean, until we're pretty much hooked up with those, we don't want to don't want to use you know we'll use palm fronds if we can to fuel our our water stills. Ooh, ooh, hello. But while well, we're catching fish here, I mean, one of the things that I've been seeing a lot on Facebook lately, it's been kind of eating at me. I don't know, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm just like covering because you know I could I could be the one that fits into the into the aspect, but everybody's talking about privilege and you know white privilege and this that and the other this privilege and that privilege and oh you're privileged oh you, you everybody else needs to get a you, you need to make it right because you're privileged those that aren't privileged you owe them. I saw a Facebook video where they lined up, you know, all these people on, on this college campus and said, you know, here's a hundred dollar bill. We're going to race for it. The first person to cross the line gets the hundred dollar bill. Here's the hundred dollar bill. It's cash into the guy's hand. And then he's like, first let's go over the rules. And he's like, uh, this is a big old privilege experiment. And he says, you know, anybody that, that grew up with both their parents in the house, take two steps forward. Uh, anybody that has never had to wonder where their next meal was coming from, take two steps forward. Anybody that got here and isn't worried about, that, that didn't get here on a scholarship or anything like that, and doesn't have to worry about their cell phone bill being shut off, you know, quite a few other things basically and he says you know these a lot of people are way up there now they've taken you know 15 20 giant steps forward and there's a bunch of other people that didn't have those amenities afforded to them and they're like you know they state the fact that you know now these people up here they got a leg up and that's everybody's thing. It's like you got a big old leg up. You're white. You, 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 it's like. But he states the fact that the privilege 
this is the part I agree with really is the privilege that they that they have in having that leg up and having that head start on life isn't anything that they did they they didn't do anything to earn that okay and you know I, I get that but the thing is one thing that was never brought into that whole question was uh, the fact that that they were there because you know if, if you're here because you're white because everybody's big deal these days is about white privilege but the question is but the part that really like digs at me in that whole thing is the fact that when they all got there at that point on that field how they got there didn't make any difference the fact that he was making a privilege statement and saying you got a big old head start because you're here because your your parents made good decisions in this that and the other and you got this head start you're gonna you're gonna have a head start in this race I find that to be total just kind of a gross misrepresentation of what's going on there because every one of those guys it's their own decisions beyond that point will dictate whether or not they get the better job and the fact that I mean yeah, I don't know it's just how do I how do I put this into words how do I explain what I'm thinking here without having you know other people questioning and other people like explaining how they're seeing it to really bounce it off of so I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda let that one marinate for a while uh, if it's if anybody has any questions on that or just kinda would like to clarify some things for me to think about uh, leave it in the comments I mean it's this kinda stuff I like to kinda talk about but on that same on that same note uh, a Facebook meme was going around that you know ultimately I thought was kind of funny but it made kind of a weird point it said you know why is it that the biracial people in the world you know people that are half black and half white relate or connect more to their more to their black side or more to their minority side why do they why do they want to relate with that you know uh, of course it was a Colin Kaepernick uh, thing and what have you this is why does he relate to being black more than he relates to being white because he's 50 50 I think he had a black dad and a white mom I can't remember but it's like and but the the punchline to the whole meme was the fact that there's the reason why they choose the the minority side is because there's no benefits to relating to the white side there's no privilege in it for them because it's just turned into a fact that there is a because of the whole privilege argument that everybody's giving up you get something you get ahead because you're white you get ahead because you're black uh, reminds me of the little uh, the little the guy we I work for or work with uh, the guy that works the yard he's uh, he's Filipino and when he's on Facebook he tells everybody about his brown privilege he's like white privilege isn't a thing if anything white people are are less likely to get things because people are afraid of what's going to happen. But he says, I totally, totally believe in brown privilege. So somebody that was batting against him decided that they'd, uh, they'd put him to the test. They're like, well, you give me one example of brown privilege, you know, air quotes, little quotes around it, brown, your brown privilege. He's like, I can make racial statements and nobody calls me on it. He says, that's my brown privilege. 
I can I can make I can make racist jokes. I can make all kinds of jokes about colored people or minority groups or anything of the sort and nobody cares. You cannot do that if you're white. If you're not like super politically correct, you're going to be bigoted. You you're, you're going to be labeled a bigot and a racist. He says, I don't have to worry about that. And that is a major brown privilege that white people can't afford. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, his, that's what he likes to, likes to point out whenever people are doing the thing. The best part is, and everybody's like, well, yeah, you say that. You say that because, you know, you had all these things. And then they're, they're like, he's like, have you seen my Facebook picture? And they go to his photos and realize that he he is a minority. And then all of a sudden they're like apologizing stuff and stuff because here he is lecturing a white person, talking about how their white privilege is such a terrible thing, <laughs> and dispelling it all because he knows what it, he knows the fact that he's never been separated out because he was Filipino. He's never been denied something, and something that he was going for was given to some white guy because that white guy was white and he wasn't. And he understands that. He understands that that everybody has to has to buy for the job on their merit. So I mean, yeah, it is what it is. But unless people take the whole racial aspect out of the out of the equation and just merely look at people as you know who's best for the job, who's most qualified, and of course that's where the other thing pops back in. It's like, well, that guy's only more qualified because he had the better education. Yeah, he had the better education. But he didn't have the better education because he got the better because because he was white. He got the better education because his parents made decisions that got him the better education. Oh, it's disgusting. You know, yeah, he's he was privileged in the fact that he could uh that he got to attend those things. Really? I mean, yeah, that was a privilege. But the thing is, he didn't do anything. He, he didn't get it because he was white. He did it because his parents made the decisions to stay together, to work hard, to make a life, to save money, to deny a lot of amenities to themselves and to their kids so that their kids would have those things. Uh, I don't know. Like I say, I don't know if that's that rings true for everybody else, but I mean, I, I see it in my mind really well. Uh, sometimes I don't know if I convey it properly, but I'm trying to convey it the best that I can. Oops, wrong one. Well, we're full. I think once this food's cooked up. And we're all fed up. We'll make that run over to that other island. First, we gotta dump all the stuff. We have all the stuff, I believe, to make a motor. Uh, if we had three more gyrocopter parts, we could just make the gyrocopter. That would be cool. I've never, never flown the gyrocopter, I've never actually used the boat motor. I think the boat motor would probably be better better off, but we can't even make the fuel still. We don't have any. We don't have any gas cans in order to make that thing work. Uh, I should probably. Yeah, I'm gonna have to throw three rocks in. Where do I put all them booty balls? Those things are kind of big. Alright, we have cooked food now. Let's go ahead and take this cooked one off the bottom and stick that little guy on the bottom. 
let everything else smoke up. Uh, that's smoke me, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and lay those out for now. But yeah, there's my rant. Now it's back to trying to figure out our survival situation here. I want to do something with these buoy balls. It kind of contains them. I think that's got all the coconuts in it. It's probably not the... Eh, you know what? I'm going to throw them in this hole with them coconuts just for good measure because they can't get anywhere at that point. Can't go away. They won't be in the way. Just, I mean, honestly, it's just kind of be in the way. I don't have to worry about these things right now. I haven't had any coconuts in a while, I don't think. Uh, really hate to be dehydrated from them. I'll munch a couple of them. Where are we at? We're all right there. We'll eat the other two in the morning. Let's go ahead and finish unloading our stuff here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, a couple of those. Let's throw just throw three rocks in that thing. Just to be sure. We got the rocks. Okay, come on, man. Get your hand up already. We have some smoked meat up there. I know that that smoked meat is only the little meats. It's not going to be our big one. That guy right there is going to be cooked. Um, smoked. Oh, that's right, the cooked ones in our hand. Now, does that separate them? No, it does not. Smoked. Cooked. Alright, so this one in our hand should be cooked. Go ahead and munch that. Looking good. ahead and take some slurps there. Everything's on the up and up. Fire's almost completely gone. Everything's smoked. Let's go ahead and snuff that far. Take a nap. Uh, sleep, yes. Alright, now we're looking pretty good. Go ahead and head back to our main island. Uh, we want to get the clay there, and we want to get whatever else is there. I, th I think we left the dis the. Did we collect the stone deposits? I think we did. But really, what we need to grab. All right, we got tons of food now. Got a water still worth. We can spend some time over there if we need to. We got five empty crates we can fill. Two, three, four, five. Basically, six empty crates we can fill with uh, the the palm bunches to bring back. So six times three is eighteen. Times four is a whole lot more than we got over there. So basically we can go strip the rest of that island and we'll be in good shape. I can't remember how to get over here without getting... I don't know if there's bad things in the water. Oh well, we're just going to go for it. Let's see if we can get on the raft. Uh, and we're on. Operate rudder. Do the thing. Drop the sail avoid the rocks. We need... I really should have did that. Um, I'm thinking it's that one straight ahead. Pretty much going straight into the waves here, so that must be it. We were directly south from our deal. Uh, our Miracle Island was on the south side, so they're all over there. That's the short one, so it was over there. Uh, so... Let's go back to this guy. 
we still got a couple islands to explore around here. Go ahead and maybe while we're over here we'll collect some sticks and we need to make a planking station come to think of it and fix our axe. Otherwise we'll end up breaking it. That won't be good. Uh, we do have the stuff to make leather, so I mean it's not like we can't... What the heck? That was weird. What did I see right there? I wonder if the shape of this raft is why it turns so hard to the left. The fact that I get this piece missing. Because, I mean, I'm not touching anything right now, and it's like cutting hard to the left. I'm just going to bury this thing into the south side of this island so we can... Whoa, chop out. So we can drift out whenever we get ready to take off. Probably already have a... Got that little cove kind of on that right hand edge, I believe. I think that's where we launched out with the dinghy back in the day. And we escaped this place. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not very many. Yeah, we'll see we'll see what we got for stuff. Maybe we'll be bring the logs back if we just need to fill. We just need to fill things up. We'll bring logs back and what have you. This raft is a little wonky. We'll collect our... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Rock. Uh, we made it. It's alright. It's going to be okay. A coral deal. Snub her right up in here like so. Drop the sail. Drop the anchor eventually. Sail again. Run into it. Alright, good enough. Need to maybe work on a little dock at our place too. Got lots of sticks right here already. Uh, let's go ahead and unload all these guys. Let's not make our stacks too big this time. Do we... Let's go ahead and knock all our yuccas down. Because we can. What is our crafting or our harvesting? Yeah, our harvesting is way up there right now. It's nice. Very nice. We'll go run around and get all these lashings pretty quick. First of all, let's go ahead and make ourselves a water still. Do we want to put the water still on that side or put it up here by our original camp? I'm thinking maybe we ought to just put it back where we were. Got a little fire going on. Might as well get that baby going right over here. Let's go make us a couple lashings off these yuccas. Uh, do we want yucca lashings? We're going to need one for the fuel, one for the water still. We're going to need one for the plank station so we can revive our axe. How many of these can we dig out here? One, two, three. That was four, but I didn't grab it. Four. Five. Oh, there it is right there. Six. I got them all out of there. So, I've probably been cheating the system over there for no reason. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, the fibrous leaves. One, two, three, four, five, and six from that guy. 
we got them this way, at least we don't have to worry about things. Um, potatoes. Ooh, the super fruit. Now I think we can, I th think we can plant those. I'm gonna have to try because that might be handy. Another thing to think about is some of the uh, achievements for this game are to survive like 10 days without eating any meat, I believe. Okay, there's the taters. Is there more than one potato on this island? can't remember. Yep, there's another potato right there. Thought it seemed like there was more than one. And apparently that was correct. So... No, we... Oh no. That's one thing I don't know how to revive is... My... Blade. Uh oh. Trouble. I can't make... A fuel still. And a... Kniffy. Have to use rocks from the deal. Looks like we're going to have to get crazy here and pull some maneuvers out of our hat. Do some serious get things done. Still takes three to dislodge the bunch. What all do we have in our inventory? Let's go ahead and put those back in there. Um. Ah, oh, geez. Here we go. The struggle is real. Alright, we're still looking good there. I have quite a few drinks on a... wonder if we can find... You know what? We really need to have that fuel, that water still. So I think we're going to go that route. Let's go ahead and make a lashing. Go ahead, get her still up and running. Let's go ahead and grab that thing like we don't need to. Of course not. Uh, let's do this instead. in there, put that in there, take that guy out, make our water still, we need a palm frond, of course we do, destroy our palm branch, and them dudes still won't let us do it even though we're good to go. Go ahead and stick that over here. Might as well. We'll know where it is. We should have grabbed the palm fronds to throw in this, but we'll just throw some fibrous leaves in. It'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and make a planking station. If I could just get that on there like that. I'm going to make a planking station though and revive my axe because I'm going to have to use the axe for collecting all my fronds and stuff. Uh, I do need to, we do need to take a swim before it gets dark, but this will, we'll be fine, it's going to be okay. Let's dump some of these right here. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and stick them in a, stick them in a chest whenever we do this. Stick them in a deal here. Except I do need four of them. I want to make 
sure that whenever I put one of those back, because we got one in our hand, make this deal here. Of course, we need four more. Of course, we pick the thing up because we're dirt. Because we're going to need another lashing. Oh, snap. Well, we're just going to have to go back. This isn't going to work. I guess I can't make a handle without three. Without three, uh, or two stones. So, I think it only has 13% durability. I don't want to ruin it. Don't want to wreck it. We don't have any stones on this island. We just came to collect some stuff. But it's just not going to work out. Let's eat those to get them out of our inventory. Let's go ahead and throw four of our meats in there. Throw you on the ground. Put you in there. Let's go take a swim. Let's see if we can't find those... Uh, Sounds like her, looks like her physical increased. Got one of those super mean starfish over there we don't want to mess with. I keep our eyes peeled for those. Oh, there's a there's a deposit right there. Kind of right on the edge of shark territory. Let's go ahead and break this guy down and hope it doesn't fall in. Hope the tiger shark don't come and try to eat in our face. We only need a couple of these guys for the fuel deal. Of course we do need uh, two, three. dudes. A little bit of air for the surviving. You know, survival games. Can I have some air? Stay away from things that might poison us if possible. And we're just going to have to go back to our island because we didn't bring nearly enough stuff. If there's a stone deposit or something in the water, that'd be nice. See anything raring to kill me yet? I think I mentioned this before, but Green Hell's supposed to be coming out in December. That one I think will be a lot of fun. Almost think I want to huh, just kind of play it directly out of the box. So we, I don't, I don't know if anybody really wants to deal with that though, because. I imagine the learning curve is going to be terrible. Uh, the dying a lot and what have you. I don't think I've ever seen anybody start a playthrough on that thing that was having, you know, hadn't already known what was going on. Survived it. Even when, they, even when people do know what they're doing, it's still tough. I mean, I knew how to avoid snakes, but yet and still, I didn't manage to do it. Where in the heck did all of that clay go that I thought was here? Or was it only that one? Yeah, I, maybe I'm thinking of the other island. Maybe I'm thinking of a different save or a different playthrough. Where there was a bunch of clay around. Maybe I go, gotta go deeper. I don't want to go deeper. There's a shark out there. This has been useful to regain my strength. It is really nice. The harvesting that I have only takes a couple of wax. Break the deal down. But it is looking to be pretty terrible out here. Far. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't need to be 
dangling with that stupid starfish. Stinking starfish trying to kill me. Okay, good fishing position. need a good clay gathering position. Oh well. We get six clay, that's enough to do the to do the fuel still or and even the brick maker. Although we wouldn't have anything to make bricks with at that point, but whatever. We do, however, need to make tracks and head back over to uh, the main island. SPF is looking good, which is kind of surprising, given the fact we were in the water all day. But we need to run back over the other island, rig up our tools better, and all that good stuff. Uh, I don't think we need to take any of these crates with us. There's not really anything in there that we need to take. The only thing we put in there was that. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and take the growing items so we can pop them into our so we can pop them into our crop plots while we're over there get those cooking or growing or whatever you want to call it got there just spear Go ahead and fill our water still back up. Uh, how's our water looking? You know, we're looking alright. We got a lot, be lot better water production on the other island. Don't really want to use the water over here if I don't have to. We can take drinks off over there. Let's just go ahead and yank, weigh anchor and not weigh anchor. Hang on. No oh, wait. We don't have a. We don't have a way to make a hammer. All right. There we go. We've we've been dislodged. Question is, will we miss all the things that could hook us up? If we catch this corner, it might work out to our advantage. There's some little rocks out here that might do weird things to us. Doing alright. Uh, we'll plant those three deals. That rock right there might be problematic. Uh, seem to be doing alright. The waves are keeping us pushed over it. The struggle is real. Let's go ahead and get us, get us a little bit of turn action. Turn the other way. Drop that sail and let's do this. And then run directly into a rock. Oh, you can miss it. Oh yeah, baby. This thing doesn't turn very well. See, I think it. I think it's our messed up design here. I think that's really doing us in. Should we go to that island? Maybe there's rocks on that island. Now let's go back to home island. Which is that one over here? What up, shark? I see you back there. Kind of startled me a little bit. Our stupid boat would turn. Someday. Come on, boat. Need to. I think we need to fix this. I think this is like setting a weird drag to one side or something. I don't know. I've never, never seemed to be that bad. Or, or, no wonder we're not turning the rudders completely out of the water. Not really a thing, but you know, I. Ha got other boats on other playthroughs, you know, there I got all four of the deals and 
they seem to run a lot straighter. So we'll go ahead and try to figure that one out. I let this thing uh, I let this thing run by itself. Got up, take a drink, and it's like facing way off over on the side. <laughs> One time. Ooh, it's getting super dark, man. Oh well, nobody needs to see anything. We're just sailing across the ocean. Dang like super heavy over there in that corner we sure do seem to be listing over there to the right I'm not a nautical expert by any stretch of the imagination so what side is port and which side is starboard <laughs> I want to think port starboard right left but I don't know if that's like correct or not uh, let's see here. Where, which side are we docked on? We're supposed to dock on the top. Uh, I swear we need to come up the right hand side and then like circle into it. Uh, there's our dinghy right there. Now we were, I'm on the wrong side of this thing. But yeah, look at that. Check that out, man. We turned like champ to the left. Let's go ahead and put it right up in this thing here. And we kick the boat sideways. Drop the sail. Just let this thing kind of drift us in. Okay, we were like over here on this side. Okay, this is that spot where we were fishing from, so it's a really good spot to... Perfect. It's a really good spot because we can walk right to it. Just shallow right here. Perfect. That's, that's looking good. Uh, let's go ahead. We need to make us one of these. Make us one of these. Make us one of these. Set our knife back where it goes. Now we got a crude hammer here somewhere. We got a crude hammer. We need a lashing. We need four sticks. And we need a log. Let's go get a log. I think that uh, that log was messed up. Wow, my logs are way over here. Alright, we got our log. Got all our stuff and things. We'll just make a quick planking station, break it down, just to refurbish our, our deal here. Believe, yep, we can make planking station. Nailed it. Take our brand new knife, just whack it down. And where did our? There it is. Go ahead and set it back in a slot, like so. Uh, well, it's dark here. I don't know if anybody can see anything, but we'll run over here real quick. Put our stuff in the jammies here. Uh, that was a potato. Two potatoes. Do we want three potatoes? No, we don't need three potatoes. Actually, we have a peppy right there. We don't need that tree deal right now. We need that peppy growing. Oh man, here it comes. Rip all the water. There 
collectors. No water in the collectors. Great. I forgot to reset all that. Ah, oh, man. Oh, well. We'll get those filled up while it's still dark here and when we sleep. They will all be up and running at that point. Let's just make sure we get enough water in our deal here. Let's take a drink for ourselves because I think we're getting kind of low. Yeah, we are. This will we'll spread this five five drinks out a little bit here. Go get all the collectors filled up. Don't need that. That one's good. That one's good. That one's way up. Let's give it all right there. Alright. Uh, what do we have in our inventory? Can we fill anything up? No, we cannot. Alright, so we got one potato ready to cook off now. I do want to make farm plots for the tree. The tree deal. Let's go get us some palm fronds. So we got a whole pile of those over here. Now did I spread those out? I think I did. Break these bunches up and we'll take all these bunches over and get everything filled up. But anyhow, yeah, this is the this is the struggle. I'm actually trying to I'm trying to move forward as quickly as possible. I'm not like really relaxing. Uh, my other playthroughs, I get way more hours into them. Uh, I just really relax and move slowly through the through the progression. But that's not exactly super exciting. I don't run too often because it saves stuff. I, I stockpile a lot more. I don't jump ahead. I you know that kind of stuff. Just it's just a little bit more exciting to try to keep moving forward at a high rate of speed. Uh, unfortunately, we still got to do stuff like this where you can't move forward at a high rate of speed. I mean, you can run, but as high rate of speed as you get. Trying to, I try to plan out kind of what's the most efficient course of action that I can take. Go back and get our stuff. Maybe we shouldn't have spread our crop plots out so dang far. Run out of stamina. I don't know how long I've been going on this video. Holy smokes. sitting in the world's squeakiest chair of all time, so it's hard to get up there and look at where I'm at on my on my timers. Maybe I should just grab some lashings. I want to grab lashings though. I mean, I got all kinds of islands with palm fronds on them. Really don't need to go down that route just yet. Like I say, I'm going to need a lot of them for other stuff, too. Most people that do these things, you know. One, two, three, four. This is only... Only a tiny little bit of... Of uh, what, <laughs> what those things are going to need. Because as soon as they fill up in the morning, I need to fill them back up. It's got three. It's got three. We'll just throw that one in there. One drink. It's got two drinks. I should have threw that in there. Let's go ahead and sleep though. It's dark. We need to wait for those uh, fuel, st those water stills to do their thing. 
need to look at my timer, so world squeakiest chair activate. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hour and four minutes. So uh it looks like that ought to be plenty good for this run through. Uh, like I say we've got all our stuff going on here. We will be back shortly. Well, we'll be back in the next episode. We will go ahead and continue on. Let's go ahead and get our save in right now. Bam, nailed it. Whoa, hello. Alright, anyhow, game is saved. We will see you in episode 7, where we will return to the island, hopefully with enough tools to get the job done. And we'll go ahead and bring all that stuff back. So, until next time, God bless. Later.